feel like a little kid getting a present. And hello and welcome to another video review and unboxing. So on today's video, uh, I finally got something that I've been crying about for a long, long time. You probably heard me, you probably seen me and heard me crying about this during my work videos. And what I'm talking about is, of course, it's uh, infamous torque range. I really wanted to have a torque range for a long time. So in the past few weeks, uh, I was looking for different torque ranges. I was looking at the Home Depot, Lowe's, and of course Harbor Freight. I was checking them out. And at the same time, I was checking some torque ranges online to see what kind of options there is. So I looked at the different torque ranges online and in stores, I checked them out. And there was actually was one in particular torque range that caught my attention, which was on Amazon. And I really liked it. It seemed nice. Uh, I read some reviews on it. It has a majority of the positive reviews. So cannot go wrong with that. So I was leaning towards buying that torque range. But right before that, I decided why not to send an email to that company and see if they can send me this tool to review and use it. And what do you know? They agreed and they sent me a tool. So here it is. This is a tool that I got. I got 25 to 250 pound of feet of torque. So I really like that it has such a big range of torques because there is going to be a few projects coming up that I'm going to need uh, quite a lot of torque to make sure I put all the bolts to the right specification. So stay tuned for those videos. Those videos are coming up soon. And today is just going to be a small, a very quick unboxing and review of this tool, my first impression. Uh, even though I got it for free, yes, I got it for free. Uh, I'm still gonna be honest about it. I'm gonna tell what I like, what I don't like based on my first impression of this tool. So here is the tool itself. It comes in this quite nice looking box. Uh, black and yellow cannot go wrong with that color theme. It looks pretty nice. And this is a brand name, Lexivon. I hope I pronounce it right, but you know me, I never pronounce stuff right. Anyways, so let's just open it up and see what's inside. Open it out, slide it out. All right, and of course it comes in a plastic case. It's a simple plastic case, just uh, molded from uh, from plastic, of course. And if you open it up, it has a single mold over here. So if you're gonna open this during the winter or somewhere in the cold, just be careful because this is more likely gonna crack and break. But just just don't open it in a cold environment and yeah but just for storage purpose this should be more than sufficient and anyways you shouldn't really keep it in your truck so it doesn't bounce around so just keep it somewhere on the side and whenever you need it then you just use it anyways over here we have some paperwork we have a small manual with all the specification of the settings and torque and how to use it we'll get back to this in a minute right here has a right here has a certificate that it's been tested at different torque settings multiple times and it passed and over here we got a little thank you note and a two-year warranty which is not too bad and right here is the tool itself so let's take it out and here's the tool itself uh, let me tell you it doesn't feel cheap trust me it's pretty heavy. It has a pretty long handle, so you can easily torque it to any specification you want. So right here, of course, it has uh, the lock nut. So you untwist that. And then right here, it has all the settings for between 25 and 250 foot of pound. So you twist that. And of course, it has a partition in the middle. So you can go in between as well. It's, it's not only 25, 50, 100. You can have uh, certain settings in between. So that's pretty good. Let's say you want to set it at 75 pound of torque. So you twist the handle over there. You might want to twist it a little bit past the 75 and then slowly bring it back and then just bring it back to zero again and lock it up. And that's it. Of course, it has a dual setting over here so you can tighten and untighten, but I wouldn't recommend it use it as a breaker bar. I mean, you probably can do it, but just use a regular breaker bar for that. And so, like I said, I don't hear anything rattling there. It feels pretty sturdy. The head over here feels pretty sturdy as well. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can pull up some pictures 
what kind of gear it has inside compared to the other torque wrenches but for the price how much this torque wrench is online and especially if there is a discount you cannot really beat the price of this torque wrench like i said this is just an unboxing and just my first impression there are gonna be more videos with it and matter of fact there is gonna be a video soon where i'm gonna be testing it and tighten up so many balls with it you have no idea so that i'm gonna put it to ultimate test from different range of torques maybe i just include a little short clip of me tightening up the lug nuts of the tires so let's try to tighten up one of the lug nuts over there so we're gonna loosen this up so we're gonna set it to 100 pounds which is line up over here and then we're just gonna lock this up and now I'm just gonna go around and check some of the lug nuts, make sure that they're all tightened up properly. So they're not too loose or anything. So we're gonna hold it all the way by the handle and just and just lift it up. And this is good. Alright, now let's check the front. Alright, looks like they're all tightened up to 100 pounds. And another thing. Once you're done using it, just make sure you un untwist the, the locking mechanism over here and keep it at the lowest setting. So the spring inside doesn't have too much tension on it. So overall, this looks like a nice tool. Uh, like I said, it doesn't feel cheap or anything. I was checking out the torque range of the Home Depot, like I said, Lowe's and Harbor Freight. So we'll see. We'll see how this torque wrench will perform i will always keep it updated in the comments and if you have any questions feel free to ask and if you're in a budget and you're looking for a torque wrench i feel like this is a pretty good tool to use i mean it's always better to have some kind of torque setting that you tighten up the bolts and nuts than not to have anything like what i used to do for the past almost a year so i'm pretty happy so thank you for sending me this unit um I hope it lasts, <laughs> but only the time will show. Like I said, there's going to be many more videos coming up of me using it. Uh, for the matter of fact, pretty much any other video where I'm going to be working on my exterior and I have to tighten up something in the end, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this torque wrench. Yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> I feel like a little kid getting a present, so yeah. And all right, everyone, so that was just a short unboxing and review overview of this uh, torque wrench. Like I said, there's going to be many more videos of how I'm going to use it and if it's going to last or not, you will know. And yeah, if you're ever in the market for a budget torque wrench, I feel like this is a pretty good torque wrench. For the price and the build quality, you cannot really beat that. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you might find it helpful, and until next time, everybody, bye!